Hey there folks, welcome back for day 21 of the 30 Days of Banjo. You might have recognized what I just played. It's just those pinch patterns, right? Well, yes and no. They are those pinch patterns, but I'm using them for a different purpose. I'm using them to play backup. What is backup? Well, backup is just what you play while other people are singing or playing solos. So far, we've only been playing melodies and what we might play during a solo, but now we need to play something that we could sing over or that somebody else could sing over. And as it turns out, one really good way to do that is to play these pinch patterns. Now we're gonna play them slightly differently for each chord, but I think it's still gonna be pretty intuitive. So let's just look at G, C, and D, the chords that are in all the songs that we've learned so far. For G, we're gonna play this pinch pattern. It's just gonna be the third string and a pinch, and then the fourth string and a pinch. So let's just do that back to back. Really seems to sum up the sound of the G chord. We're gonna do something similar for C. We're gonna put our little C shape that we've been using in tunes like Boil That Cabbage Down and Cripple Creek. And we're gonna do second string and pinch. And then we're gonna do third string and pinch. Then for a D chord, we're gonna put our middle finger on the second fret of the third string and do the same pattern that we did for G. So third string, pinch, and fourth string, pinch. Now you've probably noticed that above every measure in the songs that we've been learning so far, there are letters, G, C, and D. During that part of the song, that's the chord that you're gonna play. So, for instance, if I wanted to play backup for Boil That Cabbage Down, it would sound like this. You could imagine somebody singing or playing that tune over what I just played. It's nice because I'm playing the chords, you can kind of hear the tune in there, but it's not so obtrusive, it's kind of in the background. That's why it's called backup. Now we can do the same thing for tunes like Cripple Creek or Cumberland Gap. Here's what it would sound like for Cripple Creek. Now, your best bet with all of this is to really try to imagine the sound of the tune. So imagine the things that you already play for these tunes over the top of what it is that you're playing. That's gonna make it a lot easier to hear where it is that you're supposed to be. Also, you can follow along in the tablature, but as you go, I hope you become more comfortable so you don't have to look at the tablature while you play. And one other thing, you might have noticed that if we're playing this backup pattern for a chord that only lasts for a half a measure, then we just play half of that measure of the backup pattern. So in the case where it would go from, for instance, half a measure of D, half a measure of G, I just play the first half of my D pattern and the first half of my G pattern. It doesn't have to be too complicated. So your homework for today is to just play through these patterns as they're written in the tab. Technically, that's not gonna be too difficult for you, but I do want you to kind of imagine where you are in the tune and what the tune sounds like over the top of your backup, if that's possible. Also, it's a good idea to refresh all the other tunes that we've been playing, like Cumberland Gap, Cripple Creek, Boil That Cabbage Down, so that you can eventually do both, play the backup, then play the melody. Also, the featured banjo player for this lesson is Jens Kruger, known for playing in the Kruger Brothers, and is a really amazing banjo player with some of the best technique and tone I've ever heard. He writes some really beautiful tunes, but he can also play some amazing Scruggs style banjo. So I hope you enjoy the playlist that I'll put down in the description. Also, if you don't mind, please subscribe to this channel and like this video. That's a huge thing that you can do to help me make more of these videos. So if you do that, I really appreciate it. Anyway, that's all for today. I'll see you tomorrow for day 22 of the 30 Days of Banjo. Bye.